Okay, another look at this little thing here, what I thought was a very large transistor. Looks like it's an SCR. Um, to fire it up, I've just got a 12 volt electric motor, 12 volt battery. From the positive, I'm going to the body of the uh, SCR. The negative side, of course, goes through the motor and then from the motor to um, the output lead of the SCR. The problem I have with this is to fire it up um, I have a 1.5 volt battery with the negative side hooked on to the body and the positive will be going through this green lead into the insulated input of the SCR which looking at the little one is this one here You'll see another pin here, which is actually on the top part of the body, which of course is the end of the lead. Um, and that is what the white wire is hooked to. So to fire it up, um, having a motor here, I just simply send the 1.5 volts to the insulated pin. And the motor is running. But the only way I can get it to turn off is by taking the white wire which is hooked to basically this here and touching it on the other part of the body and it switches off. The problem with that is, we'll start it up again. By doing that, and you can see we're drawing 1.69 amps. By doing that, here the motor speed up, we're basically just removing the SCR out of the system altogether and the motor is now directly hooked across the battery we're drawing more amps so uh, the problem with that is whatever switches this back off has to be capable of carrying the same amount of current or more than this because as you would have seen there was a slight uh, current drop across it due to the resistance inside I'm guessing but um, there's no other way I seem to be able to turn it off again um, without shorting it straight across the uh, two parts of the SCR. So that's a bit of a headache really. Um, I've tried resending the reverse voltage across there, it doesn't work. There's no other way I can turn it off except for touching this onto the body and essentially shortening the SCR out. Um, you can also start it this way too. Give it a quick tap. And if you're quick enough it'll start, tap it again and it stops. So that's the drama. Easy to turn it on. Very little current. But in order to turn it off again, I basically have to short the uh, input and output of the SCR to get it to turn off and of course the problem once again by doing it that way is whatever uh, is switching it off again has to be able to carry the same amount of current as this does and uh, that's a bit of a headache so um, I'm not sure if that's where this comes into play and there's large caps but um, it seems to be the only way I can turn it off is to uh, short the output to the input so as the current bypasses the SCR and uh, just goes from battery straight into motor. So any thoughts on that one um, would be much appreciated. Thanks guys.